I ought to ask around town. <laughs> what should I do? for the poor. Pray grant those less fortunate some salvation. Ah, I'll take that. We might find a use for it. Fine place to harvest some ingredients. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? Arms, arms for the poor. Pray grant those less fortunate some salvation. My military's here. I don't know what to do. Doors locked. That should do it. A chance to put my feet up is as welcome as fine ale. Somehow my feet always carry me.
How are things? I don't believe I've had the pleasure, sir. Have we some business I'm unaware of? You mean to tell me that Albert has been playing the part of a beggar? That man who would sooner starve to death than lift a finger in the pursuit of honest labor? If this is a jest, it is in very poor taste. All the same, I shall test the truth of your accusation. And who better to make it plain for us than Albert himself? I will place these clothes somewhere about the house. If he has aught to hide, his reaction when he finds them will doubtless be very telling. You may visit us again in a few days' time. Fear not. I have no intention of causing a fuss. Good to see you. Those garments you gave me had a marked effect. Albert set off to work the moment he saw them, and he's been working steadily ever since. I ne'er thought I'd see the day. To be frank, I've not the slightest interest in the man, but he can surely benefit this city much more by performing an honest duty than by begging on the streets. In short, you've done us all a service. Pray, allow me to show my appreciation. So, now the man is in his rightful station. Yet I cannot but wonder whether it is where he truly belongs. Hail, friend. Have you a spare moment? I've an eye for people, and my instincts tell me you're of trustworthy ilk. I'm in a bit of a quandary, you see. I'm to be gone for a week, with no one slated to mind the house in my stead. Fear not, I only ask your name to list as a tenant. You needn't bother yourself with the cleaning, and I don't expect you to stay cooped up in there neither. I'd be much obliged if you'd simply consider my home a waypoint on your travels. Sound appealing? Then come on by and have a look-see. I've taken the liberty of marking the location on your map. Allow me to lead the way. I can... Take you to our destination by the optimum route. Here we are. You've come. Glad to see you, friend. So, what say you? Would you care to live here in my absence? As I've said, you needn't worry about tending to the place. Many thanks, friend. I knew I could count on you. I'll stop by again in a week's time, but till then, farewell. We will find much better rest in an abode than out in the elements, methinks. Let us make good use of it while we can. We must rest. Though the... St Shall we get some rest then? Now we've the vim to tackle the day ahead. A good sleep will ensure we are prepared. Shall we get some rest then? A good sleep will ensure we are prepared. Shall we get some rest then? A good sleep will ensure we are...
Shall we get some rest then? Good tidings, friend. How have you been keeping? As for me, I made the most of my week-long sojourn. One might even say I enjoyed myself over much. You see, I grew so fond of the destination my feet carried me off to, methinks I should like to live there. And that's when I thought, mayhap you've grown just as fond of this dwelling. Fond enough to purchase it from me? I can't just give it to you, mind. I've my relocation costs to consider, but I'd sell it to you cheap as I can afford. Well, friend, what say you? Much obliged, friend. I hope you're as pleased with our deal as I am. This little dwelling's all yours now. Suppose I'd best be off. I've my own home to get to. I hope you'll be happy here, friend. Farewell. Oh, um, yes? Uh, I, I possess no ill intent, I, I assure you. Uh, I merely wished for a closer look at these bows. Uh, those of other races differ so in design from our own, you see. I cannot deny I am curious about them. That's all it is, mind. Uh, curiosity. Uh, I have no desire to actually own one of these contraptions myself, uh, and even if I did, it isn't as if I could purchase one. It would be unseemly for an elf to aspire to such a thing. No matter how they fascinate me, it isn't to be. You would simply give this to me? Oh, that is most generous. I would gladly accept it. Uh, you have my gratitude. Fascinating. Tis not dissimilar from an elven bow in make, and yet tis unlike one in near every respect. Such as this bowstring. It looks quite the same. But the tension is altogether different. I suppose that, that comes from using different materials. Well, why do you stare? Perhaps you find it absurd that I should marvel so at a bow, not of elven make. I suppose I sought inspiration, for I, I confess I find myself rather lost. My aim has suffered of late, such that my wayward arrows simply would not strike true. The timing could not be more unwelcome, as my skill with a bow is to be put on trial anon. Forgive me. I should not expect you to know of our ways. I, I speak of the trial of archery, a time-honored elven custom. Every elf undergoes this trial when they reach maturity. Till we succeed, we are not considered to have come of age. I have been training most diligently, yet my skills ne'er seem to take shape. Indeed, I fear my aim has only worsened with each new failing. I grew so vexed with myself that I sought to learn a foreign form of archery rather than master my own peoples. Thanks to you, I now have the means to do so. Though I dare say I shan't make any headway on my own. Say, would you be willing to give me a demonstration? It might be just what I need to find my aim. Please, sir, you give to me this bow. I only ask that you show me how to wield it. Many thanks. I'm indebted to you twofold, but this is no place to practice. Would you be so kind as to meet me by the ruins north of Trevo Mine? That's where I train, you see. I'll be able to concentrate on your display of bowmanship much better there. I do hope you'll join me. For now, I shall bid you farewell. Your word, you have come. Let us begin at once. Um, I, I should like to observe your form first and foremost. Uh, uh, so, so stand here and take your aim at yon targets. You have my gratitude. 
I learned much from you just now. In fact, I have made a discovery. Unlike those of Elven Lake, bows crafted by other races are designed for keen aim. Is that not so? But I can see this is no revelation for you. I expect you thought this design common to all bows, yes? Not so for those of Elven Lake, however. Our bows are crafted to guide not the hand, but the heart. Mayhap you will find the sentiment strange, but such is the perspective of elven kind. We are taught that arrows loosed with proper form will strike true. As if tis all a matter of point, I admit. I find it rather baffling myself. Perhaps that is why my bowmanship has failed to improve. Yet with this bow, I begin to understand. Let us see if I fare any better now. Huzzah! What a feat! I, I, I can hardly believe it. Every last arrow found its mark. Dead center. This marvel is, is nothing at all like an elven bow. The design allows for ease of aim and steadfast flight of each arrow. To think that I should, I should feel such a difference. Mayhap I am more suited to a bow foreign make than one of my own peoples. It is a strange thought, but how else to explain it? My arrows have not soared so true in all my days. I had nearly given up on myself, yet it would seem I am not without talent after all. My performance with this bow has divested me of such doubts. But the ingenuity of this design, if only my people would take heed, it is all very well to talk of honing one's form, but why should we not perfect the tool so integral to our customs? I am decided. I shall take this bow back to the arbor. With this as my weapon, I have no doubt I shall pass my trial of archery. It seems Sir Glindor's doubts no longer plague him. May his newfound confidence see him through his trial of archery. Right you are. I thought it only right to tell you that, as you were the one who gifted me the bow that I'll be using. I was also rather hoping you would consider attending. No one could be worthier of witnessing this milestone in elven archery than you. Ah, but the path to the arbor is not easily found or followed. To be best, I escorted you. There is a log bridge near the ruins where I train. I'll await you on the other side. Come find me when you are ready to make for the Sacred Arbor, the village of my people. A treasure chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? You've come. Shall we be off? Follow me, and pray take care not to fall behind. One can easily lose their way here. The Sacred Arbor will be a sight to behold, I'm sure. Let us trust in Sir Glindor to see us there. Let us endeavor to keep pace with our guide. We have found a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time.
I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer... Fear not. I'll think of something. El, alacarium ilmen elote falomentarin nun fear, nambawe, elelia yav tulme? Nandewin morteren ekialis, nun fear ananduine, fanamone matiene lismelto. Iselrod vane nun lia casinque erenun, the afendel nar salma we fear. Orne fa in del rin. Alacarium fionaro osto urne. Hm. Some of us fail to grasp that this world extends beyond the bounds of our cloistered haven. Ah, forgive me. You do not speak our tongue, do you? From this moment forth, so long as you remain by my side, I shall interpret for you. Now, come. The place the trial should be held is just up ahead. Nandeo in morteren echialis, palan malantha. Alana fire mine. The trial of archery shall be held here. I bid you wait just a moment uh, while I prepare my entry. But I've just noticed. Where are all the custodians? They ne'er leave their posts. Could it be aught to miss? Nenwen mor Iwanon. Alcarwa fir nun eldaya menelume sur karim. Martyr fa nun fionor minas vena eralote. Alcarwa fir nun eldaya menelume sur karim, kiriando an mindor hiroth? No. Derem? I cannot stand idly by while my sister is in peril. My friend, if e'er I have had need to call upon your aid, tis now. I beg of you to join me in my sister's rescue. There is no time. I shall mark the location of the ogre's den upon your map. Make haste. Her life hangs in the balance. Alana fire mine. Came in Ross, a casa. Aden fell.
It's our first time here. Be vigilant. We do not yet know what to expect. Try not to- Wolves, faster! <laughs> It is hard to find my footing in this darkness. Excellent. I could have done no better. I could have no less concerned than you. Splendid. Fall back, and I will heal you with my magic. Wait right there. with hard won. What fails to destroy us only enhances our chances against future adversaries. Obstacle blocks our way. Perhaps we might remove it by force. 
If a ranged attack is needed, you can count upon my aim. Might I be of assistance? Break it from this side. True enough. We ought to keep watch, lest we be set upon from behind. Nought can threaten us if we watch each other's backs. Allow me. Wait a moment. You're here, and not a moment too soon. We must find my sister and save her from the ogre's clutches. Beninume, mor martyr teel adaka kiriandio. Tael ni sil arin fel. Nun mori vin wi alcarwa menelume. Lis anandor lumtena. Nando in far echianis, pelinol wende, sinde, soron, aele, alvekil. Riven fender nar itarondo vani. Falis tulia fune numen osto taralia osto telpe. Lungtene nun vi fa atacher.
I shan't let them harm you. <laughs> That looks promising. Any ideas as to how we might reach it? Arbor Heart, preserve me. It is even more nightmarish a sight than I had feared. My father battles the ogre while my sister is clutched in his fist. There is still hope, if I act quickly. Listen well, friend. I shall strike the beast's arm while my father holds its attention. The moment the ogre relinquishes my sister, I ask that you lead her to safety. I have ne'er attempted to strike a target so distant before. Ian, the trial of archery does not demand such a feat. Yet, for the sake of my sister, my arrows must fly true. Pray, keep Darren out of harm's way. We must make our escape, and quickly. Okay, Master. We must carry Miss Darren to safety. I'm afraid we will not do this. to retreat then let us defer to the arisen's judgment right you are findelnar el tara angamar Every little prey. Keep Darren out of harm's way. Be on your guard. There are innumerable corners where an enemy might conceal themselves here. Keep your eyes peeled. Oh, my heart. 
There can be no gladder tidings in all the world. Words shall ne'er suffice to express my gratitude, friend. None of this would have been possible if you had not gifted me this bow. You are my sister's savior. I am for heir in your debt. Eteler, le affermor el dalia era lotte. Finlenar. Carilm ilmen arcael. Silfa nambawe in nun calael alame. Angadur sindi. Kemenindor canyan irils aldecar. Fionar elwe arfarne nenwen sur orne. Eteler, le affermor el dalia era lotte. On the vana al vekil, et ler ne an ler ailame. Lung tena pele tellume, ane martir tindume ingarina fa alme al carwa. Nenwen mor aiwanon, arta hir kurir, mor fa erando amanda kil. Kiriando an mindor hiroth, arta hir kurir. Morfa erando, Amanda kill. Vanelin hiror sorom, sorne an famelton. Nun is Amanda kill angador femor. Kasinke telpe nun finaler, lera ne fir heranon, anne arta her firnis. Finlenar, lung dene we fir nosto. My gratitude to you knows no bounds, friend. T'was your kindness that altered my plight as, as much as this bow. Not only are you my sister's saviour, but mine as well. By the by, if you are as passionate about mastery of the bow as I am, perhaps you might speak with my father. His experience ought to be of benefit to you. Kalail alame, karilm ilmen arkael. Aidalia anandor, nun lintan. Heror anne oya fermor, anendune faluntena? Palan hiar menran, lis fa arnefane. Afte har, lis manasvana, fui numen alekan. Elorato ala, Nun mor arda her. Firnis an erumar isil rod et peller. Lera, like azar, an ils findamunt in cel. Ne fanamo lis kiriandio mor erlot. I avstir lalasta. Nun falasmir malananon. Anamor lis turculium ekialis. We succeeded in rescuing Ms. Darren. Our efforts are sure to have earned the trust of the Elven people. Well said. I learned the words, but this is the first I use them. <laughs> Others of your kind have come here, but my people warn them away. Oh, but I cannot stay. I must, um, see to the Arbor Heart. Of late, the Arbor Heart is, uh, unwell. I must care for her. Good day. Hi. Faring well, I hope. Would you care to join me? I'd not say no to a bit of company. I was hoping you'd say that. Do you know, I had a feeling we'd meet here today. Intuition, I suppose. Say, you're not from round here, are you? Are you a traveler? Have you seen me? How I envy you. This city is all I know. I long to learn more of the outside world, but Mother won't allow it. She's always telling me how dangerous it is beyond the palace walls. But that only makes me question her judgment all the more. After all, if the world truly is so perilous, what are the lives of our people? They must be fraught with uncertainty, subject to harsh conditions. 
it seems unfair that I alone should be shielded from that reality. But listen to me waffling on. Ah, I almost forgot. I, I happened upon this little curio the other day. Here, you're welcome to it if you'd like. My apologies, friend, but I'd best be going. I mustn't let Mother find out I left the palace. Thank you for indulging me. I, I do hope we'll see each other anon. Till then, farewell. This might be worth a read.